Q Howard. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living room. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belt and radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest, I don't want you to ride, I don't want you to write to your congressmen because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the streets. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it, my life has value. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. I want you to get up right now. Get up, go to your windows, open them and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. Things have got to change. How many stations is this going to get mad? I know it was to Louisville and Atlanta. We're not going to take this anymore. Then we'll figure out what to do about the depression and the inflation and the oil crisis. But first, get up out of your chairs, open the window, stick your head out. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's a good idea.